Joseph Rogers lived near Palmyra, New York, at the same time as Mormon prophet Joseph Smith and the Smith family. He swore an affidavit about his experience with the Smith family. He said, I was born in Wester, Oneida County, New York, February 10, 1805. Our family moved to Phelpstown, a few miles south of Palmyra, New York in 1815, where I resided until 1842. I was often in Palmyra, and was well acquainted with Joe Smith, who became the Mormon prophet. When a young man, he claimed to receive revelations from the Lord where treasures were buried. He told Peter Rupert and Mr. Cunningham, a blacksmith, simple-minded old man, that there was a chest of gold buried on my brother-in-law, Henry Murphy's farm, under a beech tree. Henry's younger brother Jack said that must be stopped and he obtained some filth in a sap bucket, and got up in the beech tree, before they arrived in the evening. They came, and Mr. Rupert held the Bible open, and a lighted candle, as Prophet Joe directed, while Peter dug for the chest of gold. Jack called Peter three times, and he looked up and said, Here am I, Lord, and received the filth in his face. Peter told me and others that the Lord chastised him, and he had to stop his digging. He said he paid Joe for the information. I told him he ought not to believe Joe, for he was a liar and impostor. He said Joe would put a spell on him and that he would have to stand still two weeks. He said Joe had perfect command over men. He believed he was a prophet. Jack was called Lord Murphy afterwards. There were many others similarly duped by Joe. Many of Joe's victims were from New Jersey and believed in witches and ghosts. He could not fool the New England or York State Yankees. Joe Smith and his adherents dug a cave in a hill in Manchester, New York, and used to go there, he said, to consult with the Lord. He had a door at the entrance fastened with a padlock. The sheriff took possession and found much property, which had been stolen from farmers about there. Joe had left for Ohio. It was believed that Joe intended to remove the property. I had the affidavits of six creditable farmers who lived in Manchester, New York, that Joe Smith, who became the Mormon prophet, stole their chickens and sheep. I lost them moving. Farmers said he was a terror to the neighborhood, and that he would either have to go to state prison, be hung, or leave the county, or he would be killed. Joe contrived in every way to obtain money without work. The farmers claimed that not a week passed without Joe stole something. I knew at least 100 farmers in the towns of Phelps, Manchester and Palmyra, New York, who would make oath that Joe Smith, the Mormon prophet, was a liar, intemperate and a base impostor. His father, old Joe, was called a devil. He was very intemperate, profane and vulgar in conversation. Joe, the prophet, said much about his troubles with the devil, and that he, the devil, got the better of him much of the time. Joe traveled about the country considerable and was well known.